What's up guys, I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. If you've got a passion for new movies and for new audio and video gear, then tap the subscribe button for new weekly videos. And for a review, we've got Hobbs and Shaw on 4K Blu-ray. I won't be reviewing the movie itself, I'm just going to share with you my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Now for a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 2.8 and 3.4K. It's got a 2K DI, it's rated PG-13. Runtime is 137 minutes. Aspect ratio is 239 by 1, so there are black litter box bars on your TV. Well, this pretty much falls in line visually as the last couple of Fast and Furious movies, if I remember correctly. Detail and sharpness were super crisp in some scenes, and other scenes, not so much. The close-up shots of Hobbs can be crazy detailed, revealing every vein in his neck, the detail work in his tattoos, and even the stretch marks on his arms. There's some excellent detail in many of the backgrounds, whether it's in the club scene or out in the city streets of London. As I mentioned, there is some softness in a lot of the movie, so aerial shots and far field shots just weren't all that impressive to look at. For HDR usage, as you might expect, there are some eye blinding explosions, and there are some nice looking highlights from all the gunshots and some neon lights. I also noticed this isn't one of those dim HDR presentations. It actually stays consistently bright throughout the entire movie. Now I'm not saying because it's bright that the colors are going to be jumping off the screen or anything, as most of the color palette switches from a cooler tone in the first half of the movie, then when they make their way to Samoa during the last part, the color shifts to a warmer look. So no, this probably isn't going to wow you with colors. Black levels I thought looked great with great shadow detail during the darker scenes without any glaring issues. The Michael Oxmoor. Audio is in Dolby Atmos, and for such an over-the-top action movie, I came away feeling underwhelmed. First off, the bass was really light during the parts that should have been crazy. When Brixton crashes through the glass, I barely heard my subwoofers move. There is some alright lower frequencies when the building is collapsing during the chase scene, and the explosions during the third act was okay, but nothing that would keep me awake for the entire movie. I'm not saying it's a boring movie, I'm just saying I didn't think it was all that good. Anyways, bass was just kinda weak. For Atmos side effects, it was kinda light there too. There's some ambiance above, and whenever Brixton is talking to his boss, I'm not sure if he's got a name or not, maybe it's Ryan Reynolds, his voice does come through every speaker to give that surround you effect. Sound effects within the lower channels was decent, with good sound movement, and dialogue was fine and always easy to hear. So for audio, I'm gonna go with a 7.5. I was really looking forward to hearing this. From all the crazy stunts in the trailers, I figured this was gonna be a demo-worthy mix. I thought it had low bass, sparse height effects, and I just felt it was average at best. For video, I'm gonna go with an 8.7. I thought there were some great 4K crisp moments, and other times it was just a little better than the regular Blu-ray. I doubt you'll be breaking this out to impress your friends, but if you're a Fast and Furious fan feeding for a fun sequel of sorts, then I'm sure you might find this 4K disc an enjoyable watch. So let me know your thoughts on Hobbs and Shaw. Did you like the movie, or did you fall asleep on it? And what did you think of the 4K transfer? Let me know in the comments down below. Now if you want to grab this movie, I'll leave some links for it in the description. It does help out the channel by using those links, which helps us bring you more content like this. Well, give the video a like if you found it useful, and if you want, you can find us on social media, and we're also on Patreon. Well, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys again in the next one.